Hi, my name is Brenda Barraquo. I am an electronic harassment and surveillance targeted individual. I am going to talk to you about the United States government covert operations in the past such as COINTELPRO, MKUltra, Monarch, and the Phoenix programs that are similarly and seemingly being done to private citizens in the present utilizing directed energy technology. What is electronic harassment? If someone uses any electronic device to aid them in invading your person or property for the purpose of gathering information illegally or for the purpose of causing harm. By accusing a targeted individual of a high crime, law enforcement agencies are able to obtain court orders for a bogus investigation and 24-7 surveillance of a targeted individual as well as justifying the law enforcement agency's invasion of the targeted individual's home and place of employment. Organized crime criminals are being hired to destroy every aspect of a targeted individual's life by gang stalking, gaslighting, mobbing, and vandalism leaving the targeted individual socially, emotionally, and financially devastated through systemic mind control and behavior modification as well as electronic harassment. Surveillance technology can be defined as devices or systems which can monitor, track, and assess the movements of individuals, their property, and other assets. Much of the technology is used to track the activities of human rights activists, journalists, student leaders, minorities, trade union leaders, whistleblowers, and political opponents. Similarly, FBI counterintelligence programs such as the COINTELPRO, which was designed to infiltrate and destroy any public organizations that held beliefs different from those approved by the government. The types of electronic harassment technologies in use vary by local gangs to those used by international organizations such as organized crimes, private companies or private corporations, and secret societies. Electronic harassment used electronic harassment weapons used are directed energy weapons, lasers, high radio frequency energy beams, electromagnetic and microwave radiation waves, sound waves, etc via cell phone towers, radio towers, and TV station satellites. These directed energies can pass through most substances such as walls, buildings, metals, mountains, and thousands of miles. The radiation power can be created by directed energy beams engineered to contain sound waves, messages, heat stress, pressure stress, simulated forms of telepathic images, and so forth. Directed energy beams can track and locate a human object continuously by means of holographic indexing into the Earth's holographic computer systems, which are holographic records and indexes of biometric parameters such as voice patterns, bone patterns, and aura patterns, and so forth. 
Typical symptoms of electronic harassment victims may include, but are not limited to headaches, eye irritation, dizziness, nausea, skin rashes, facial swelling, weakness, fatigue, muscles and joint pain, buzzing and ringing of the ears, numbness, irregular heartbeat, muscle spasms, depression, and sexual stimulation. Directed energy beams can cause seizures, cancer, leukemia, sleep deprivation, tumors, among other things. This con brings me to a conclusion that ESB, electronic stimulation of the brain, could control memory, impulses, feelings, and co could evoke hallucinations as well as fear and pleasure. Thank you very much.